If you've ever played a Metroid game, you know that one of the best parts of the series is the immersive atmosphere that each game draws you into. There's no shortage of amazing tracks and melodies that have accompanied Metroid games over the years. Even since the very beginning in 1986 with limited sound technology, I think Metroid has always been the gold standard in video game scores. When Metroid Dread was released last year, it was such an amazing return to 2D Metroid that so many fans had waited for. It's an incredible experience and in my opinion, there isn't anything in the game that can really be improved on. Anything except that is the music. I don't want to be too critical of a professionally made soundtrack. And to clear up the title of this video, I don't think the music is bad per se, but in comparison with the legendary tracks from Kenji Yamamoto and previous Metroid games, something feels off to me in Metroid Dread. And while there's nothing that sounds straight up like unpleasant to the ear, I remember thinking about halfway through my first playthrough of the game that I haven't stopped to listen to or even really notice the music, which is something that had never been true of previous games in the series. So what I'm attempting to do is recreate some of the music in Metroid Dread and give it my own spin on what I would do if I was the composer for the game. I think the biggest thing that's lacking in the original soundtrack is memorable melodies. Metroid music has always been about that perfect balance between melodic and ambient. And I think Dread just strayed too far towards the atmospheric end of the spectrum. Now, forewarning, I'm not a professional producer, so I'm not saying this track you're about to hear would have been better in the game. More like, this is the musical ideas that I would have brought to the table as a composer for the game. For this track in Artaria, I took the tonal palette and the basic ideas from the original score and just added what I think brings that Metroid layer of singable melody to it. So without further ado, here's my take on the score for Artaria from Metroid Dread. <laughs> 